as one of my favorite actors, Matthew McConaughey says, all right, all right, all right. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. I just thought I'd let you in on something. I used to be a terrible public speaker. And in fact, when I started this YouTube channel, I was pretty bad at speaking to a camera. It took me a while to figure out how to do it. And for some reason, I got more nervous looking into a camera, which is what I'm doing right now, than actually speaking to a group of people. Now, I went to Toastmasters. If you haven't heard of it, it's like a club where you learn how to do public speaking. And one of the comments that I got a few times was people would say to me, what happens? You give a speech, you do a performance, and then you get critiqued on it. The idea is to be able to improve, right? They get, you get told what you can do better, what you, could, what you did well, what you can improve on. One of the things they kept saying I could improve on was my appearance of confidence sometimes I would appear nervous. Often I would appear nervous. And you know what? It was quite a challenge to be able to get past that, even though there was really no reason for me to be nervous. Eventually, after practicing and practicing and practicing, I realized that, you know what? I don't have the gift of the gab. I do not have it. But with a lot of practice, you can improve and you can get better. So if you're someone who wants to learn how to do public speaking, you want to improve your performance, you want to start a YouTube channel, you want to give a speech at your daughter's wedding, you want to do something like that, my tip is practice. Go to Toastmasters. There's Toastmasters clubs all over the world. Join up and start practicing. Start getting critiqued. It's um, actually not as hard as it sounds. Not as daunting as it sounds. They kind of ease you into it. Anyhow, Tesla, they aim to start ramping up 4680 battery cell production at their Gigafactory in Texas by the end of the third quarter of 2022. By the end of the year, Tesla hopes the battery factory in Austin can exceed the Cato line's weekly output. So they're basically saying, by the end of this year, we plan on being able to build more 4680 cells in Austin, Texas than we are right now at our factory in California, in Cato Road. That's good to hear. Mm, it's still a lot slower than what Tesla had hoped for. Tesla Giga Texas already produced its first 4680 cells earlier this year. Tesla has started commissioning its first car sets of cells through the end of the line, said Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior VP of powertrain and energy engineering. He said, we are making progress on 4680, but right now, as Elon mentioned, we are leveraging supplier cells, which we have in sufficient quantity to ramp Texas and Berlin. We expect to ramp to 4680 production exceeds 1000 per week by the end of the year hopefully before well before replied baglino to an investor question that probably sounds like he's saying we're going to be making 1,4680 cells by the end of the year per week it's not what he's saying he's saying by the end of this year tesla will be producing enough 4680 cells at the gig factory in texas to be making 1,000 cars per week from those 4680 cells being produced at the factory so he's not saying 1,000 cells per week it sounded like that though didn't it baglino shared that tesla applied its learnings from Fremont's Cato line to the 4680 production lines in Austin and Berlin. Essentially, the 4680 lines in Tesla's new factories are a carbon copy of the ones near the Fremont factory. Now, Tesla already says that Tesla mentioned there were still challenges it needed to overcome with 4680 production at Gigafactory Texas. Musk said that Tesla has installed the second generation equipment 4680 production in Texas. I think point this out no one's really focusing on this second generation equipment has been installed what is second generation about it i don't think anyone really knows what's second generation about it i'm assuming it's going to produce better product though otherwise what would be the point in having a second generation right it has to be different somehow fundamentally an improvement on the previous generation it's going to be really interesting to see what those improvements actually are over the coming months i'm sure we will find out in addition tesla has continued to expand capacity at fremont shanghai berlin and of course to work on its plans to double the size of its gigafactory in china which i think is tesla's most important development most important project over the next 24 months. In his opening remarks for the Q2 2022 earnings call, Elon Musk said that Tesla has enough 2170 cells to satisfy all vehicle production for the remainder of the year. The Tesla CEO highlighted that 4680 cells will be important in 2023, not so much this year. Tesla's battery suppliers are also working on the company's 4680 cell right now. So, Who's working on it? Well, apparently Samsung is working on it. No one's really mentioning them, but they actually invested in a whole bunch of equipment, millions of dollars of equipment to build 4680 cells. No other manufacturers that build cars use 4680 cells, so it's very clear that they spent that money hoping they'd receive a contract from Tesla for, you know, 
obviously hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars worth of 4680 cells, but that contract hasn't actually been signed yet. So that's gonna be interesting to see what happens there. Now, Panasonic shipped the first 4680 samples to Tesla recently. And the Japanese battery supply has started large scale prototype production in May. They're hoping that by the start of next year, they'll be producing 4680 cells at a much higher rate and be able to provide Tesla with lots of them to use in their, obviously their new generation cars. So to sum up what's going on here, Elon Musk has said, Austin's factory will not be making a significant amount of batteries until the end of this year or until the first quarter of next year. That's 4680 cells. Ramping a new battery cell takes longer than Tesla had thought it would. Um, obviously, they're not really a battery company yet. They are kind of, you know, they have a joint venture with Panasonic. So they definitely have an experience, but this is a whole new form type. It's a whole new product. It's not like taking an existing product and just changing the chemistry or changing the cathode. A whole lot going on here. There's lots of changes. And this this has taken Tesla a lot, a heck of a lot of trying and failing, trying and failing, and then finally getting it right. So what's going on with Austin and Berlin? Let's compare the two to each other. Austin, it's a little bit behind Berlin, even though, right, the permits were pretty easy to get in America to get the factory up and running. There wasn't all these so-called pretend environmental groups hosing the factory like there was in Germany. But Tesla did make a gamble. They they bet on 4680 production. It didn't quite turn out the way that they had hoped. That means Austin is a little bit behind Berlin right now. Batteries are a part of that, but not in a major way. Now, I believe Tesla expected they'd be able to produce more 4680 cells by now, meaning production would have ramped up faster. So therefore, they're using 2170s instead. Now, as a shareholder of Tesla stock, I did expect, I'm a little bit disappointed that Tesla hasn't been able to ramp up to 2,000 electric vehicles per week coming out of their factory in Austin, Austin, Texas. Now that, in my view, was a reasonable expectation for, you know, six months of being open, or nearly six months, but or six months of production, really. So yes, a little bit disappointing there. Didn't quite play out the way that I thought it would, but... I do think Tesla has something coming up its sleeve that we don't know about just yet with CATL. Something is coming. Tesla has definitely signed a new contract with CATL for new batteries. I think it's their new lithium iron phosphate crystal batteries. Those, in my view, are a game changer in a number of different ways. I've made videos on those batteries before. I'll make another one soon when it's confirmed that Tesla has in fact signed that contract. Who knows that CATL and Ford just signed a contract, but I believe Tesla also did within the last 48 hours as well. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and have a great day. Bye-bye.